Hey guys, I am Psychic Mara. I do hope all is well. I am well myself. I am picking up new energy for missing women, Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler. These women traveled together from Kansas City to Oklahoma, and they were due to meet someone to pick up Veronica's children. However, the women never made it. Their vehicle was found abandoned off of a highway on the side of a road in a very rural area, an area where truckers and farmers uh, pass by, pass through. Okay, very, very strange. The women were not in that vehicle. They never made it to that destination. Now, I truthfully feel that someone communicated a change of plans with these women. Someone told the women that there has been a change of location, turn around, or we are going to come and meet you halfway we are closer to you what color vehicle are you driving in it's two of you i see you and boom they were cornered in and abducted i feel like this was targeted this was not random in my opinion someone knew that they were going to take these women away yeah and honestly they planned on just taking Veronica away. However, uh, unfortunately, uh, Jillian was there um, and her role this whole entire trip uh, would have been a witness, to be honest with you. And so, yeah, this was planned. No witnesses. So they had to take her as well. Um, come on. She would have told and we can't blame her. We would have all told, you know, um, so it's not like they could have just left her. Okay. Um, there is news to come again, investigators, very tight lipped about any information, any leads or anything that they may have. They won't share it with the public, but yet you can't sit up here and, and, and put out their missing persons posters and flyers and ask for help when you're not giving any information. You know, people want to know something. Summer is coming up. We have travelers, people wanting to travel to see family, okay? People, you know, traveling back and forth to get to work and, and from work, whatever have you, whatever their situation is, people, believe it or not, do travel in that rural area, specifically farmers and truckers, but still. There's no reason to keep quiet about anything you know any further. We hear about a school being locked down. That raises more questions. People don't know what in the world is going on. People want to know. I get it. Uh, if you put this out and that out, social media will grab it and speculate on it and throw theories out there and it could mess everything up. But think about it, man. Listen, it's time to talk. Because if you don't, people will start to speculate that one of your own, your fellow officer, your state trooper, hmm, hmm, police officer, somebody, a sheriff, they will start to speculate that one of you all had something to do with it. And they will start to speculate that somebody's covering up for a police department. So your best bet is to come out and talk about what you know. Allow the family and friends to talk. People need to know. Give us an idea. You don't have to tell us their whole life story, right? But give us some kind of idea of what the hell is going on. Because right now, everybody is pointing their finger to a woman and a man that was supposed to be away. Okay? In other words, so everyone's pointing their finger to, to mom and son, right? Not, not father and son, but mother and son. Isn't that some shit? Yeah, I know. It's usually father and son. Uh, go along with it. But the mother and son? Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying that, but that's what people are. They're kind of speculating that. Tell us what we need to know. People are really out there searching, trying to help. Someone is going to find a watch. 
whether the watch belongs to one of the women. I'm not seeing that, but a watch, something about a, a bracelet or a watch will be found, okay? Um, and yeah, a watch or a bracelet, piece of jewelry, possibly belonging to one of the women, Veronica or Jillian, will be found. This was a setup. Um, I'm telling you, this was targeted, you all. Some people may disagree. Um, I feel like it was targeted. They were in communication with someone who basically turned them around. Yeah. No, no. Uh, there's been a change of plans. Uh, we want to come closer to you or I want to come closer to you. I'm very close. Uh, I can meet you right here in this location and I would not be surprised if the person met them in that rural area right there where their vehicle was left abandoned I would not be surprised but the women had no idea what was to happen next and that was that they were it was a stick up a stick up by someone that they know so there's something wrong here it needs to be man fully investigated um I hate to say this I, I'm not trying to point fingers but Whoever the women were going to meet, that person needs to be called in for some severe questioning. Just in case. Leave no stone unturned for any reason. Okay, because there is something really, really suspicious, but we know that already. Um, I do not feel that anyone other than someone that knows them abducted them. It was targeted. Yep, they knew that Jillian would be a witness, so they had to get her too unfortunately okay news is to come i said this before and i stand by it there is some type of video of these women whether they're inside of a, a you know a convenience store a corner store a gas station pumping gas i'm telling you there's a clerk or someone that will come forward and they will talk about how they seen these two women walk into the store um this is what I see. I am very shocked that this info has not come out yet. But again, authorities are being very tight lipped about everything. Okay. Um, and I see a watch, a bracelet or a piece of jewelry. Do not give up hope. Okay. Um, at this point, I do feel the women are deceased. Now I did not pick this up before. I felt that they were fighting for their life. Okay. Um, but the women are deceased. Time has run out, and that's why I say it's very important for authorities to share more info. Come on now, share share more. We need to know more. Forget about social media speculating and get that info out. You never know, okay? Um, I will say that in my third eye, I do see uh, oh, something with the window shield. There's something about the window shield. I don't know. Maybe the window shield was busted. There's there's a window that is cracked or busted. I do see that in my third eye. I see scattered glass. Okay, I see that. Um, yeah, I see a bat. So someone did have a bat. Okay. Um, they were overpowered and they were definitely taken away. I see a camper. Okay, I see some, it's more of a, I want to say a truck, but in my third eye, you guys, I view it as a big camper with like dark tinted windows. Could have curtains or something over the windows, which is strange as well. They were taken away in a camper or a truck, huh, a van, something along those lines, okay? Something like that, minivan, camper, truck. I do see that, um... Yeah, but this is what's strange. I feel like whoever took them is getting ready to drop. This is going to sound so unbelievable. They're getting, they're going to drop them off. So when I tell you, oh man, don't give up. Don't give up. Listen, huh. get out. If anyone's in the area searching to where their vehicle was seen, get out the area for me. Get out of there. You're going to have to play. You're going to have to play their game. I'm, I'm talking about the perpetrators. You are going to have to play the perpetrators game. They're, they're playing mind games right now. They think they're going to get away with it. Get out that area. Um, pack up and go. Okay. And I, I'm telling you, this is going to sound strange as hell. Uh, come back in about a day. 24 hours later. 
and I don't know, start looking again because I feel like something will be found. And I feel like whoever took them away, they're going to drop them back off in that area. Now, I'm not saying exactly where their vehicle was found, but it's going to be somewhere in that area. Somebody is being sneaky. They're going to drop them back off on the farm, near a farm. There's somewhere, they're going to drop them off on, on somewhere around there on a property, some around someone's property. Oh, yeah. This is what I feel. Do not take it for 100% because everything is allegedly, but someone is waiting for the coast to be clear. Yeah, they are. They're waiting for the coast to be clear. They're trying to, they're going to drop them off, but I feel like they're deceased. There remains, um, and so sad, uh, will be found. I am seeing that one woman will be recovered. Uh, one woman will soon be recovered. We want both of them found and recovered, uh, safe and sound. But unfortunately, I feel like time has run out. Something about one of the women will be found or recovered. Stay tuned. I love you guys. I I'm sorry. I'm kind of all over the place because that's how I see things in my vision right now. Scattered. And I see that someone's playing a pretty nasty game. They're definitely waiting for the coast to be clear. They're trying to drop them back off. And they're being sneaky about it. Whoever did it, they're going to be they're going to be in a different they're, they're not going to be in the camper anymore. Yeah, no they're not, but I do see a blue car. I see a I see a dark blue car. Something about a navy blue or something. They're going to come back and they're, somebody's going to be really sneaky about it. And they're going to try to kind of push them out and they're going to speed off. And they're trying to wait for the coast to be clear. Anyone searching in the area, please be careful. Okay, that, that's all I have. My God. Justice for Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler as I see that it will come. And somebody's going to be found soon. Hmm.